Well, I've got some things to show you. I had made quite a few videos and I realized that I didn't have my camera set up correctly. So I'll have to tell you that if you're gonna set out to make videos to show people about building an airplane, it kind of helps if you know how to operate a camera and all the settings in it. So hopefully these videos will come through a little better than the last ones. I'll try to recreate some of the information. Uh, one of the things I wanted to show you is plans management. So when you get the wing kit and the empennage kit and the fuselage kit for an RV-8 or any of the RVs uh, before the 14 or the 10, what you'll find is that the plans come full size. They're 40 inches across, it's like looking at a poster board and there's about 50 of them in a stack. And that's kind of cool because it's nice to look at a big piece of paper and see all the plans drawn out. But when you have to look at this plan and then you have to look at that plan and maybe you're flipping back and forth and it tells you refer to this one now, now go over and look at that one. You might be looking at four or five of them in the same short time span. And it's a little bit challenging if you don't have a great big wall to get them all in a place where it's easy to do. So what I did was I took an old TV and it's great now because old TVs are really big and cheap. So for $100, you can scrounge around, find somebody who's getting rid of a big TV. I think new, this TV is $225 for a 55 inch TV. Nothing fancy, but it has an HDMI input. I took it with a cheap little $200 laptop that was uh, here and uh, that I used for little things around the, uh, the hangar and in the plane. I connected the HDMI port on the laptop to the monitor and you can see that the plans are pretty much full size. You can read everything there is on this without having to have it on paper. And because it's Acrobat, I could just go up at the top and click the little tabs at the top and I can go between plans no time at all. And in between needing the plans, I can you know put on the news or something else. So it's kind of fun to have it on the wall like this. It's super easy to reference. It's right in front of my tool chest. Uh, I can turn right around from my work and look at the plans, flip between things pretty easily, and there's no stack of you know five or ten different plans that I have to look at going back and forth. So I wanted to share that with you. One of the things that's needed for building an RV-8 is a wing jig. The wing spar has to hang level and it has to be rotated so that it's flat across the entire length of it. And so the way this works for me is that I built a basically a big wood box and you can see that it's reinforced at the bottom and at the top and I decided to tie two stands together so that I would have more durability and rigidity in the structure and I also did it like this because I can work on both wings at one time. I've got the right wing on this side I've got the left wing on this side and I'll pretty much do the steps for each wing in tandem because if I learn how to do it on one side I can immediately do it on the other and not have to go back and, and remember how to do something later on. So that's kind of handy. The mechanism on this is set up so that on both ends of the jig I can adjust where this screw length is so that the spar is not twisted this way. I want it exactly the same on both sides. I can measure it with a level across the top on both sides and make sure I have it exactly right. And then the other thing that I'm going to be able to do with this in that process is make sure that there's no twist in the bottom of the uh, rear spar as it all comes together. Here you can see the mechanism for how this is done. I've got a piece of angle that is screwed into the post back here and I took a, a piece of angle that I had as scrap and bolted it to this angle and then bolted it to the screw and then on the other end I have another angle bolted into the assembly with another set of nuts so what I can do to adjust the angle is simply move the rod in and out and moving the rod in and out here will change the angle of twist of the spar so by changing the length of the rod here it changes the angle here taking any twist out of the wing.